The science of cannabis has really evolved over the last 40 years, and we understand a lot about the biology. Cannabidiol is the non-psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, and since it is non-psychoactive, one feels the potential harm is going to be much less, and since some of these children had truly devastating epilepsies, in which the seizures and the high doses of many drugs that doctors like myself were prescribing caused really tremendous problems for these children. The first thing I tell people is, you are a unique individual, your chemistry is, in, is unique to you. You could have the same exact diagnosis as the last guy that walked in here, but you may respond differently to a different strain of cannabis, a different dose of cannabis, a different method of using it. I don't know the answer, and I don't think anybody else knows the answers. There's this, this crazy dissociation between what's happening at a federal level of incredible restriction on safe things and a state level where it's a little bit of the Wild West. And states are allowing parents to play doctor and play chemist when they really don't have that experience. Every two and a half hours, okay. she's gonna get a dose. There is no one that will tell me that a parent that spends as much time with our child as we do does not know what's best for them. Melly was born March 6th. 2012. A week later, we started noticing some spasms. At about four months old, we realized that something was wrong. We took her to the hospital and determined that they were seizures. She was having roughly, I don't know, somewhere probably in the vicinity of 700 a day. They diagnosed her with infantile spasms with hypsarrhythmia um, almost immediately and put her on three different medications as well as started the ketogenic diet. not progress at all. Uh, she was not growing. She was not gaining weight. The doctors had given us a 0.1% chance that she would really do anything. They kind of felt like they, they had done everything they could do. There was no diagnosis, therefore there was no prognosis. We just felt like our hands were kind of tied. You don't want to believe what they're telling you, and so you try and find alternative solutions. And thankfully, we found one. We ended up, you know, leaving, you know, a quarter of our possessions behind, selling our business, and we made the journey to Colorado. Our neurologist told us that she can't prescribe it. She knows nothing about it. Uh, it hasn't been studied, but that she recommend we do what we need to in order to help Millie. Get all that stuff cleaned out. Yeah. We started Charlotte's Web right around her birthday, and within the first 15 minutes of her first dose, she was wide awake and looking around. And I mean, I was just crying. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Probably within the first 90 days, we noticed about a 75 to 90 percent reduction in seizures. I mean, we've had extended periods of time that we've had no seizure activity. And when I say extended periods of time, nine days, 14 days, we've had times where we've backed off and not given her doses of CBD for upwards of a week, maybe a little more. And then we have times where we will have to increase her CBD. It's not as complicated now as it once was when we first got here. It was a little scary. Um, it was a little difficult trying to figure it all out. It really has been a lot of trial and error. It was all parental experience, asking other parents, you know, hey, when you see this seizure, what do you do? It gets frustrating. And then you find the sweet spot and you think, yes, we did it. Anything really can set her off and sort of make it throw off the whole balance. It's kind of a two steps forward, one step back. We have some seizure activity that are a bit more violent, that are more painful. I think the most difficult part is there's nothing you can do about it. You basically just have to wait it out. 
There are days that I don't know that I feel like it's hard for me to continue. No, no. And then there are days that I feel very elated and very joyful that we have her. We've gone from a place where we didn't think we would have our daughter with us very long and trying to make every minute count to now we feel like we have prolonged her life, that there is an opportunity for her to grow and maybe walk, talk, do some of those things that we never thought were imaginable. You know, I don't know what the future holds for us. You know, it is a very real possibility that Millie could have a seizure and never come out of it. For Millie's future, I see a lot of beating the odds. I see a lot of improvement. I think that she's, I think she's really gonna make the history books. You know, Colorado has given us an opportunity to be parents, to make decisions that we feel are best for our children. I, I don't know exactly why people are so afraid of this, but I think it is time now that we need to put that behind us and move on.